Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you the special technique of real-time data transfer and uh, I'm also going to show you how you can read the data and how you can transfer the data from one file to another file in the same network and how you can share the data from one PC to another PC that are connected to the same network and this technique is really useful for example if you're working in a big company so most of the computers or the laptops they are connected to the same network so you can collect some results in your PC and then you can uh, push this data from your PC to the network so all the other team members they are also connected to the same network in this way they are able to see your data and they can use your data for their applications and for example in case of robotics you have different kind of sensors that are attached to the robot so what you can do these sensors actually sense the data to your PC and then you can process the data in your PC and then you can send this processed data to the different parts of the robot. So in this way, in this case, all the sensors and all the different parts of the robots should have to connect to the same network. So they can share the information in between each other in real time and it helps the robot to make the decision at the right time and in the real time and this technique is also used in a different type of chatting systems and in the chatting systems you know that most of the clients are connected to the server and they can then send the strings or the text message to you and you can be able to read those messages and then you can reply those messages so we will see how we can do this in python so let's go so guys open your compiler as you can see in my compiler i have already created two files server.py and client.py and in the server.py i am going to create the server which is able to get the request from the client and also be able to send the response to the client in the real time so it's uh, actually like a chat system and for this we are going to import some library and uh, I'm going to choose the socket library. Socket library is actually used to send the data from one PC to another PC or from one file to another file through the Ethernet connection and uh, we will see how we can do this. So for this we have to create the host and uh, the port the host is where we are going to send our data and the port is through which channel we are going to send the data so for the host so in my case i am considering the host is my pc currently where i am writing the code so for this i have to just create the get host name and that's it for example in your case if your host is as some IP address you can also pass some IP address here in host and after that we have to define the channel where we are going to uh, process this information or send this information so for example in my case I am assigning the port 5000 and you can assign any number which is free inside in your PC and after that we are going to create our server and for the server you have to just call the socket and socket and this is it next we are going to tell our server from which host or the port he has to send the information and receive the response and for this you have to write the bind and you have to uh, tell the host name and the port number here and uh, after that we are going to tell our server that you have to also listen the response from the clients and you have to type server dot listen and in the listen function you can pass the number of clients for example in my case if i have just one client so i will pass just one here but you can pass two three as many numbers as you want and uh, after that we have to wait for the connection in between the server and the client when the connection is established then the server be able to generate the response to the client and to check for the connection uh, you have to write the accept and when the client uh, or the server connects with each other so we will get the response from the client in this accept function and you can uh, see whatever uh, the response uh, the client is sending in the connection variable and in the address here from which address he is sending and after that you can also print something for example print connection from so you want to see your port number and the IP address so you can simply type here str 
and a double d or a double s and after that we are going to create a while loop and we are going to open our server for the lifetime for example so that's why i've created a while loop with the true condition and uh, first of all we have to uh, read the response from the client and uh, for this i have to type here uh, for example con dot receive and uh, in my case my server is able to receive maximum 100 1024 bytes of message you can increase this number according to your needs and after that we have to decode this message and you can simply type decode and you can store this information in some for example you can simply write here client message and after that you can print whatever client is saying to us and you can print here whatever client is sending us you can convert it into a string and show it here in the print and after that we have to send the response to the client and for this i am going to create a message variable and we are going to get the input from the user in the chat system for example you can simply type here inputs and this is it and after that we have to send this message to the client and for this you can simply again call the con dot send and you have to send this message and you have to encode this message from string into the bytes and this is it and in the end we are going to close our server and close the server you can simply type server dot close and this is it from the server side and next we are going to fill our client side and uh, half of the thing are the same in the clients because we are going to connect our client with the same host and the port so you can copy these lines and paste it here now we have to create our client here and uh, the client should also connect to the same host and uh, he is also able to send or receive the message to the same port so you can simply type here client and dot connect and you have to again pass the host and uh, the port for example in my case uh, my host is my current pc where i am writing the code and the port should be the same on both sides so otherwise they will not be able to communicate or they will not be able to receive the messages from each other i think we have to send the request to the server and get the response from the server and for this uh, i am going to create the while true and uh, to send the uh, to send the request to the server you have to type here client .send and you have to um, create the message first here and the message is again some input from the user from the client and you can simply send this message here and you have to encode this message here and this is it and uh, after that we have to able to get the response from the server and for this you can again simply type client dot receive and the maximum number of bytes we have to receive is 1024 and dot decode and you can decode this information for example into save into server response variable response variable and uh, after that we are going to print this information and for this you can simply type your server response we have to convert our message into string and you can simply paste it here and this is it and in the end again we have to close our client when we are done with our program so we have to write here client auto. so this is it and next uh, we are going to see how it will work now so you have to open your terminals two terminals and in the first terminal for example if i run my client first so it will generate the error that no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it so in order to open the port and uh, the things on the server you have to run the server first now the port is open and uh, he now the server is active and he is able to receive the requests uh, or the uh, requests from the clients and now you can run the client as you can see the connection is established successful and uh, uh, it is sending the information through this ip and through this port 
and uh, the next thing you can send anything from the client side for example you can send some message for example hi air and in real time you will get this message on your server here from client hi and now you can send the response from the server to the client you can also send something here hi there so as you can see you can see the response here hi there so in this way you can send the real time response from one pc to another pc uh, and from one file to another file so if you are new here you can also press the bell icon and subscribe my channel to get the updates of the new uploads so see you next time bye bye